back to my channel if you're new here my name is Annika and today I'm filming an extremely overdue video I'm filming my university room tour now I have been here for well over a month I don't think we're hitting the two month mark yet oh maybe we're hitting the two month mark in like four days crazy so yes this is very very overdue and i've been meaning to film this and the two excuses i will put it down to is one i just haven't felt like my room is ready and two i've been busy we're we're trying to do a degree yeah we've been busy but we are here now i'm filming so for some context i go to falmouth university i'm a photography student i'm not living on campus nor am i living in uni accommodation i am living in private student housing and i have a studio all to myself if you had seen my moving vlog you would have seen parts of the room and it empty i'm not going to put in any clips but if you do want to see that it will be up in the i card i think it's this side <laughs> it will be up in the i card so you can have a look at that but without further ado let's get on to my room tour so here we are in my entrance this is the little corridor that it takes to get into my room from my door on the back of my door i have all of my coats hung up i am so glad that i was able to get an overdoor hanger on this door because there would have been no way to fit my coats anywhere else i have so many coats it's not okay and i wasn't giving up any of them anytime anyone comes in here they make a joke and they're like your door is going to fall off at some point do you know what we will cross that bridge if it gets there then just off the entrance you have my bathroom here to the left i will be showing this a little bit later on because i want to get into my main room first this is what you see when you first come into my room so you literally just see my entire bedroom this is wardrobe stepping a little bit further into my room you come into my kitchen so because i'm in the studio i have the kitchen to myself and the kitchen is in my bedroom it is more than enough for what i need for one person the only thing it didn't have was an oven that was the one frustrating thing with this flat is it doesn't come with an oven you have your little micro combi oven which it works fine to be fair i haven't really figured out how to use it just because i haven't needed to because i brought my own air fryer with me i literally do everything in there i don't want to be one of those people which is like oh my god I use my air fryer for everything they're amazing isn't that they are amazing I use it for everything but you can get one if you want if you don't want to you don't have to <laughs> But I definitely needed something like an air fryer just because I didn't have an oven. One thing this kitchen did come with, which I was super, super happy about, was a washer dryer. Having a washer dryer is actually a godsend because, first of all, I don't have to pay for my washing. I don't have to deal with circuit or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called because I haven't had to use it. But the uni washing system. Now, we just turn around and this is the wall opposite my kitchen and my bed. On this wall, it literally looks like I have absolutely nothing on it. That's because I do have absolutely nothing on it. On this wall here, I have my projector, so I kept it empty just because I knew I would be using my projector to watch any TV, YouTube, anything. I spend so long looking at a screen every day editing my work for uni that I decided I needed a big screen in my room and I did not want a TV so I bought my projector from home and projected onto that wall. That's why there's nothing on here. But then I have my little baby mirror, which I actually love, and she's tiny. So I don't think it looks 100% in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some prints and things to put on this wall, like I have done around my bed. Just do it around my mirror so I can fill out the space a bit more. I also want to get some fairy lights that go around the top of the mirror, just to spice it up a little bit. Okay, so now we have moved on to my bedroom area. This is my prized point in my room. I mean, it's basically my entire room, but I have created this beautiful wall of prints and artwork that I have just put up and I absolutely love it. This is one of the reasons this video is so late. If you watched my moving vlog, you would have seen I came with zero decorations other than a couple of lights and a plant here and there. Because I knew I was coming to Falmouth, I knew I was coming to a little town in Cornwall that is full of artists and I knew there would be so so much cute stuff. I'd be able to just go out and buy so much work from independent artists on my wall. My bunting. I absolutely love my bunting. Especially at night because I've strung in little fairy lights with it. And it's literally the cutest thing at night. I love it so much. In this room, I have got a double bed. This bed is so comfy. The interesting thing about this bed, actually a Murphy bed. So it lifts up into the wall and it opens up the space. So all everything from my wardrobe across to my desk is all one unit. So yeah, you can lift the bed up and just really open 
open up the space if you want to have a party in here you can you can fit quite a few people in here when the bed's up and then we move on to my desk section my desk is right next to my bed as i said it is built in to the same unit as what my bed is on it's a relatively good sized desk luckily i don't do like art or architecture or anything like that that actually needs lots of desk space like I just need to be able to fit my laptop and I'm good we also have like this drawer that does come out I currently just use it for storage as I don't need that extra space on my desk purely because the work that I do doesn't need that much space actually on top of my desk first of all I have these little postcards and this print from one of my photography projects then I have my three little Christmas books, which are actually my next three reads. That's why they're here. I kind of put my next sort of TBR here on my desk. I just like it. It's a little extra touch. Then I have this lamp from Ikea. This is my favourite lamp in my room. The light gives such a warm glow to your whole room. It's so beautiful. And then next to it, I have my Ikea plant, which I have had in my room for over a year at home. And it's doing so much better here because it gets so much natural light from the window that it actually is thriving in this place where where I had it in my bedroom at home, there wasn't too much natural light. So... It was literally living off of water and it wasn't doing incredibly. So I'm glad that that's doing better. I have my Andy Gotts photography book and then a small part of my Vogue collection. I have the Vogue subscription, so that just grows every month. So I did leave a few copies at home, not to overwhelm my desk space. And then I just have this little Heather's poster, Heather's musical. If you know me, you know I love musical theatre. I nearly did musical theatre at uni. So I felt like I needed to have a little nod to musical theatre in my room. And then I have my little to-do list. At the moment, it's a little Christmas notepad to-do list. And it's the cutest little thing. I love it. Now we can look a little bit more in depth at this little shelf that is above my bed. Actually, on my bed, I didn't speak about it. This angle is not it. But I have my little, like, bed chair thing. And all my teddies. I brought my teddies from home. They all have sentimental feelings feelings attached to friends from home so that was like a no-brainer for me to bring so they're here on my bed and then on this little shelf here above my bed I have some little bits and bobs so I have a little good luck card from my parents and my brother when they left me here they gave it to me I have my Nikon DSLR camera so this is the one I use on a main day-to-day -day basis I then have my Nikon film camera unfortunately this one is really old and it's starting to go a little bit so hopefully I still have a bit of time left with it before it decides to leave me and it just lives for decoration and then behind it I just have a roll of film this pop head that I bought in a vlog last October when I went to London with my brother so that one was obviously coming with me and then I have a lens that goes on my film camera and then this beautiful bottle of rosé in regards to all of the posters on my wall I don't actually remember all of the names of the independent artists who made them which I should do and I should link them below but I can't because I don't have any of their cards so if I can find any I will link them below or like their socials below so you can find some of the artwork but if you're ever in Falmouth and you want these posters I got 99% of these from the Bean Hive which is if you ever in Falmouth you will see it it's a pink shop on the corner it looks insane I love it so much I'm always in there all of these prints are from there so if you want to find anything similar go into the bean hive you might find something okay we're getting out with my bedroom now the last part of my bedroom is my wardrobe now this wardrobe when i first looked at pictures of this place online i was like what am i going to be able to fit in there i have no idea how big it is it doesn't look that big what am i going to be able to fit there were also no pictures of the inside of the wardrobe which i found really stressful i was like i want to know is it all hanging is there folding space but if you're wondering and looking at this accommodation specifically this is what the inside of the wardrobe look like i have so much clothes in here and it's a bit of a mess so it definitely needs to reorganize so we're going to ignore that but it is massive it's a lot taller than i am it's half hanging half cupboard space type and then just like a big shelf on the top so now we are going to go into my bathroom this is the first door we saw when i started this tour and we are back here now my bathroom is huge it's not okay how big it is i just didn't expect the bathroom to be this big and i am not complaining i absolutely love the space and that was one thing i was dreading in student accommodation was turning up and the bathroom being like this big 
and like only having like a shower and a sink and like your toilet and it's all squished together. We're here, it's all open, it's big, so I absolutely love it. So when you look inside, this is what you see. Now there was absolutely no storage in here. So I ended up buying this three tiered uh, trolley from Ikea and it has been a lifesaver. I put all of my bathroom stuff on it. I mean, there's not much to show in the bathroom. The shower is a decent size. My bathroom is blue. However, I'm very happy with the shade of blue that I've got because there are some flats in this building which got very bright shades of blue. And yeah, that's not really a vibe. So the last little spot that I have to film is my balcony. I am extremely privileged to have a balcony. And if you were a few floors above me, you would get beautiful sea views. Unfortunately, I'm not high enough to get proper sea views in this building, but I still love having these massive windows and having like all these people outside my room but it not being noisy it's not like i'm on the high street and i get loads of noise every night like it gets quiet i can hear the sea i can hear the rain i love it but yes let's go out onto my balcony so this is the balcony it's a little space it's cute i've got a little table and chairs out here and if i'm just quiet you can just hear the birds I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera, but I absolutely love it. So fresh here. The air is so nice. Oh, I love it. But yeah, that's my balcony. So that was my flat tour. I'm going to add in a couple of clips of what my room looks like at night. Just because it's a totally different room at night. It's so beautiful. The lights get so cosy. And I'm so happy that I've been able to make this room feel a little bit like home. And put up my posters and get things from home that I knew would just give me that homey feeling. If you were like me and you were watching this video when you first applied to university, super, super excited to go to uni. I hope you enjoyed i hope this was helpful for anyone looking at falmouth and wanted to see what some of the accommodation was like so yeah that was my room tour it is very late i do apologize and we are getting back on track with youtube i will be posting more consistently now once i'm settled in and i actually have a routine down because that took me way too long to get used to <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed i hope this was helpful and i will see you somewhere else on the internet it's to